I've just got to RS Group, where I'm going to be meeting Navjot Sawney. He started the washing machine project. He's created a manual drive washing machine inspired by the stories of families in refugee camps. A washing machine that doesn't use electricity, which means it's going to be filled with loads of really clever engineering. So here we are with all your prototypes. What was the initial seed of the idea? My goals and I moved to South India to make clean and efficient cookstoves. There I met my next door neighbour, Divya, and Divya's life was an everyday struggle, whether it was foraging for wood or hand washing her family's clothes. I promised Divya that I wanted to create a manual washing machine for her. When I was on this street in this village in South India, women and children would spend hours and hours a day hand washing clothes. That was what they what they did and as an engineer I was like, you know, there are electric washing machines out there. Why is Divya not using electric washing machines? So I asked her this question. She said, you know, water comes 15 minutes a day, every day, and that's all the water that we have. And she said, electricity is switched on two or three hours a day and I don't have a generator. So appliances that, that are available are not suitable for someone like Divya. I was standing around a table and you saw a salad spinner in the corner. So it's geared here. Oh yeah. It's, can you see the, the gears there? Yeah. So you could, it's pretty easy to take take apart as well. So, so that is how simple it is. The, this gear slots into that gear right here, essentially. So one turn, and this turns multiple times. This is probably like a one to uh, 20. This size is one. Yeah. This size is 20. Yeah. And that is the principle of a gear. Minimum effort, maximum spin. Yeah. One revolution yeah. means this spins 20 times faster. Exactly. But you want something to break your, your the spin. This is um, really important for salads and also clothes. So it's not just decoration. No, These that, triangles cool. here actually do something really crucial, yeah. which is stop the salad yeah. from sticking to the edges of the bowl. So how does this relate to the next stage, which is this? Mm. This salad spinner in the right direction, this is how it looks. So this is the handle. This is that? Same yeah. Handle here. Check this out. <laughs> this, I have one of these on my loo door. This, look, this is starting to look really sophisticated now with its frame. Can you see that? Oh, wow. You can see the baffles. Okay, so you've custom built Correct. The, um, the baffles. Yeah. The kind of wooden framed. So the other thing that we did was we put it on load bearing wheels. So you can see these are just standard off the shelf yeah. wheels. <laughs> so you can actually stand upright. So these are literally wooden broomsticks that we fashioned into handles for washing machines. Oh, it's so Caractacus pots. I love it. That is exactly what it looks like when you look into your washing machine at home. I'm trying to spot the elements that you have shown me up until this point. Yeah. I'm noticing the, the hand crank. Yeah. We went back to the hand crank because uh, we wanted to use these gears. We noticed that, like the salad spinner, if you have minimum effort, you could do maximum spin. One of the things that people really wanted was a dryer. Okay, but this also washes. Correct. It's a washer dryer. Washer dryer. I mean, how, how sophisticated. We went for front load washing so you actually wash your clothes like this check this out putting your laundry in like you would a normal washing machine and how much water goes in there um so about three of these buckets okay and that's still good we're still being water efficient right yeah we're actually being 50 percent water efficient so how long would i be doing this for it's probably about one or two minutes you can see here there's that hole yep all the water will come out into a bucket. What are the main differences apart from the colour? It's much more easier to use, so... This is like it's smooth. smooth, yeah, compared to that one. Gosh, this is like, um, you know, power steering. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, you can see... That noise it looks... is so satisfying. I know you've bought your laundry yeah, today. Yeah. So we could actually literally do some laundry. Do some laundry, yeah. You can put 20 pieces of clothes in. I've just got two towels here. This bucket at the back okay. for the water to come out. Detergent is there. Just do a bit of the sprinkle. That's it. I'm particularly fond of the lid. 
It's like where all the engineering this is life. This is where all the technology is. And then you lock it in place. It so just doesn't feel so like you can, you're doing anything. So have a it's seat so there. smooth. And you're not touching anything. You're not touching any water. Yeah. So soap. no detergent on my hands. No. And you can spin. You're literally working with angles and gravity. Exactly. This is gravitational draining, like the salad spinner. We're it's doing the same. the same thing. Same thing. You can see. One of the biggest life lessons that have been given to me is um, fall in love with the problem because the solution always changes. I fell in love with the problem of women and children hand washing clothes. That was a problem that I wanted to solve. And as you see behind us, the solution will always change. Seeing the washing machine project and how it's evolved has really made a difference to me because I know a lot of the concepts in the machine, but to actually see it in real life is so impactful. The creativity, the ingenuity, the technology, the thinking behind creating a machine that is really going to change people's lives and improve the quality of their everyday. It's humbling to meet someone like Nav and it's humbling to know the difference that engineering really can make.